Any other questions for President Roberts, Dr. Woodard, any of that? Sweet. Um, so yeah, that's all I got this week. Um, and yeah, that was a great point, bringing it up with, uh, with Big Press. But um, yeah, let me know. Um, and come to office hours tomorrow. Um, should, be, should be a good time. And also, it'll be University Senate, so if you want to see what that's like, uh, I'll have that Zoom going. Um, should be a lot of fun. So, thanks, y'all. Thanks, Jack. Now we're going to go for my Hey, guys. Um, I feel like a good weekend. Uh, still working with Fidelity. They're kind of spotty with the responses, but it's like a little bit of a time thing. I'll let y'all know if there's any progress there. Um, UBS Crack Platform should be available like at the very earliest, the end of the semester, but most likely next semester. Um, and then we're in that December 5th, uh, from our future room. Thanks, Will. Power report from the EVP of Outreach. Hey, y'all. Hope y'all had a good weekend. Um, for me, so I'm going to send something else weird in a little bit. If y'all are a part of the 2040 committee, um, please, I'll send information about that in the group meet. Um, we're just making a list of all who's on that. So um, reach out to me with your name and which committee you're in. Um, I'll send that in a little bit. Um, so from outreach, so the um, state of the city is tomorrow night at 5.30. Um, if you're not going to be part of Safety Walk, I would encourage you to come. Um, get updated on the state of our city. It should be awesome. Mentioned it last week, but it is happening tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah, Sharmal Harrison, the cabinet's going to be there. Um, and then on the cabinet side, the outreach team is um, starting to play Creek Day, so yeah, y'all have it. Um, I guess anything y'all like to say about that, come contact me and we can put it together and chat on what Creek Day looks like. But thank y'all. Thanks, George. Powerful. Thank you. Hey everyone, um, sorry I'm not dressed up, we didn't have a ZR cap yet, so I can just sit with that, unlike anywhere else, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so I mentioned this last week, but the women's basketball game um, that Athletics is hosting us at is this Thursday. Um, I sent an RSVP out last week, so if you filled that out, please send it to me there. Um, it should be really cool. And they haven't given us a set time that the game starts at 7, um, but I told him that we had the open house right before. So. Let's just keep it at seven, maybe 6.45, get there a few minutes early. Um, but that was relations day is next week, so we're super excited about that. We'll be sending some reminder emails about attire and all the things where we'll meet for the best tickets at um, probably Wednesday. And then um, all the calls volunteer sign-ups. Please make sure y'all sign up for a shift or two. It was really fun. I did it last year and with just with my team, and I got to learn a little bit better. So um, y'all should do that. And you get a picture with Aubrey and a t-shirt. So that's awesome. Thanks for attending. Now we're from the EVP of initiatives. Hey, y'all. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Um, yeah, so Student Center meeting recap uh, discussed the, the Chargers and the USBC uh, <laughs> things and, and our thing, and that's going to be getting fixed. Um, yeah, safety walk tomorrow. Uh, so y'all please shout for that. That'll be at 530. Um, no block seating this week. It'll be open for all students, which is exciting. Rec and wellness meeting about long-term facilities plans. That is this Thursday. Um, it's, it's a recurring meeting that we have. We had one last month um, to discuss satellite rec locations and just the future of the rec. So that's exciting. The gyms will be in there. Um, so yeah, thank y'all. Thanks, Thomas. Now we're going to move on to reports from our standing committees beginning with academic affairs.
and he said the power report from budget and finance. Thank you, Ms. Snow Report for Eagle. Thanks, Carter, for Eagle. Now report from Code Plus. Blaine, Code Sam. Um, not a lot from Code Plus this week, but we did get uh, the business constitution updated finally, so we'll be um, looking at that in committee this evening, hopefully passing it through committee deck on Thursday, and then hopefully having it on the floor for y'all um, on Monday. But if you have anything, feel free to reach out, and we'll have a great week. Thank you. Thanks, Ethan. Now report from Act Presentation Health Opportunity. Thank you, Deidre. Now report from Student Affairs. ISO. So last week we organized our video student of the year, uh, ISO ACNA. So even though still success, I think 1,100 attendees attended that event and we saw food from 20 different countries. Um, and especially I want to thank uh, student involvement, <coughs> tiger diving, boy girl girls and Frenchmen, involvement and residents, student and security center staff, uh, all the volunteers and everyone who attended for making the event possible. And also last week we did media and social hour, but this week we are going to start that with media team social hour, co-hosted by the Student Association. So we welcome all the students to come to our social hour. Uh, that's all from my list, so thank you very much. Thank you, Kira. That concludes our reports from our liaisons, and now we will move on to future orders of business since there are no current orders. We only have one future order tonight, and it is PSSR 2411-1101, brought to you by Senators Scott and Jones. Scott, CLA. 
Whereas the present condition of North Donahue Drive located between West Magnolia Avenue and West Glen Avenue lacks a safe functional walking path, and whereas students travel along this road to attend class and on-campus events on a daily basis, and whereas the absence of a sidewalk requires Auburn students to walk adjacent to moving vehicles with no boundary between cars and pedestrians, and whereas the high amount of foot traffic has caused environmental erosion and destruction on the private property adjacent to the road, and whereas on Auburn football game days, a high number of fans park north of campus, causing increased foot traffic and danger without a clear walking path for fans to navigate, and whereas the scarcity of a proper sidewalk poses a significant risk to the safety of Auburn University students, Auburn City residents, and Auburn University fans, especially during high tra traffic events such as game days. Therefore, let it be resolved that the Auburn Student Senate urges the City of Auburn to prioritize the construction of a safe and accessible walking path on North Donahue Drive located between West Magnolia Avenue and West Glen Avenue, and let it be further resolved that the implementa implementation of a designated walking path on North Donahue Drive would serve to promote a safer environment for both day-to-day -day commuting students and for large crowds attending game days and other events. Also, uh, we realize that there's two um, spacing issues on this, so we will get that first. Are there any questions on this piece of order? Yes, Senator Barton. Charles, I don't think this is city council if this is not. Uh, Judge, at large, we're still uh, discussing exactly how we're going to present to the city, but it will be presented to the city. Uh, also, to provide a little bit of context, this is something that I've already discussed with Mayor Anders. Um, he is in full support, but he requests that uh, we could provide something uh, more official than just the conversation. Yet, but it could be, you know, he was saying, I, I know most things about the city, but I don't know everything, so it could be something that's 
someone's looked at that and like they're they may be frustrated about that. So that is why that's, it is just like prioritizing on the construction there, not just um, offering that suggestion. If that makes sense. Are there any further questions on this future order? All right. And this will be moved to a current order next week, and we can continue debate. With that, that brings us to the conclusion of our meeting. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh, I have to do announcements first. Sorry, I forgot the most important part. Um, on Thursday, we have elections open house. All of you are required to be there, so please make sure you have plans to attend. If you are not going to be in attendance, please make sure that you have sent me and Emma Francis your university approved excuse. Uh, that will be at six o'clock. It's in the ACLC room 161 which if I remember correctly, is on the end of the building, not near the main entrance. So you'll have to walk down the hallway. Um, show up, please, with your executive student council counterparts. They have been instructed to bring a tablecloth, but if you have additional materials that you can put on the table, please do so as well. The next thing is student affairs strategic planning focus groups are going to be happening this Friday and next Tuesday. So we have a committee. This is happening as almost a subset of the university strategic plan. So that was passed for the next 10 years. But each department does one as well. So Student Affairs is working on creating theirs. And as student senators, you are all a part of Student Affairs and the Student Affairs experience and what they're providing within student involvement, which is why your voice is essential as we're collecting feedback on the direction and the vision of Student Affairs for the next 10 years. With that being said, you received a survey to your email, which I would encourage all of you to fill out, please. But if you could, it is also extremely helpful to us if you will be in attendance at one of these two sessions. There is a link to sign up. There's a sign up genius in the email that you were sent. If you have any questions, if you're not able to make it, but you still want to provide your feedback, if you'll let me know, we can conversate about what that can look like if you can't make it to either of these two dates. But if you can, we're working on having locations for both of those, and they will be available on the Sign Up Genius when you go to submit your name. But again, please make it a priority to be in attendance of one of them, if possible. Yeah, Deidre. Snapcatcher. 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 Think in between. You don't have to be like full business casual, but look presentable. Not shorts. Uh huh. If you can go with auburn colors, that could probably be appropriate. Maybe SGA too, if you want to throw in a light blue. You know, stay on thing, stay on thing. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions about student affairs strategic planning, what that looks like, or input that you want to provide, again, please reach out to me and please be at the focus groups. We really do need y'all's participation and your attendance. The last thing that we're going to do this evening, happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much, Victoria, for telling us in your report. We are going to partake in celebrating our veterans by writing them a thank you note. So if you can go to the next slide, Hayden. This is an example. You do not have to follow this letter if you would like to write something different. Please write it just in general to um, a serviceman or woman who has served our country. And you can use this script. You can write your own letter. Um, sign it with your name and then your position in SGA if you want to. And then the thank you for your service, you can put that on the exterior of the envelope. And I'm going to give them to Lieutenant Michael Taylor, who is our ASBA liaison, and he's not here tonight, but he's going to help distribute those to student veterans and veterans within the Auburn community. So I'm going to give you all a second to do that. Are there pins? <laughs> I have a few that I can share. I think I just... So that's a far cry. I, I, I don't know. <laughs>
it also shares some context. Um, there was a representative from the University of Alabama's SGA who reached out to NITO, asked if we could participate in this. They are doing a week of service for veterans and recognizing them this week. And so um, a few weeks ago, she reached out to me and asked if we could do this. So our counterparts across the state are also writing letters tonight. Thank y'all so much for participating and doing that. I'll be sure to get those to Michael this week. Um, with that being said, that concludes our meeting. Now that announcements are officially over, if you need me at all this week or if there's anything that I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to seeing a bunch of you at Better Relations Day on Monday. We'll be traveling to Tuscaloosa, so that's extremely exciting. But in the meantime, have a great week, and this meeting is adjourned.